Good day everyone, welcome back to video review, unboxing, unbagging, unpacking. Uh, this big uh, PR package arrived from Fancel. Uh, I will have in here minimum three videos because we have mix of product. We have diamond paintings, we have cross stitch and we have some miscellaneous uh, tools and accessories. Uh, the only thing I don't see here is supposed to be two canvases of 16 count Ada cross stitch. Um, maybe this package was already sent out uh, because it was kind of when 16 count just arrived to the store. Um, they asked me if I would love to review that because it's a new count and I said yes. So I picked two canvases, but I think, um, yeah, they said they should be arrived together with this package but I think maybe will arrive in a separate uh, package so I don't see it in here uh, so at this point I don't know if it's already shipped out or not maybe in a separate package we will start today with something new that I did not review on my channel yet and let me show you okay so we have in here uh, three four five six seven eight of small size canvases for next time we have a two bigger one one humongous one as you can see it's actually folded i will put them here um cross stitch we'll see um i think i will start with these boxes and then we go from here and see what else we will review today also i have a very little tiny tool so we will start with this one uh, i'm very interested to see on the inside of this box because it's something absolutely brand new that i never review on my channel and i'm not sure if you know um they have that product in that store first i want to review this little cute magnet look like a needle minder Oh, it's a tape in here. Oh, done. We have a tape in here. I'm so loving at this sticky tape. Okay, just a minute. We will get, we will get situated. Love this ceramic. Uh, let me bring you a little bit more close to me. Okay. Alright. Still need it. Okay, so this is new new tool. I thought they would be a little bit bigger to be honest, but this is so tiny. So tiny. A little, a little cute figurine like for check this figurine chest and we have a magnet so this will be cool to put on the top of your canvas for example when you pull out the clear sheet when you saw my rabbit i was doing a rabbit diamond painting remember i put my cell phone not to get the sheet backflip to me when i was putting the washi tape you can use this little tiny magnet that created from a resin and that's a cute idea because i do have uh, this kind of figurines for the chest figurines uh, that I can create a whole bunch of different like that. So that, that's cute. That's cute. And you can find them at the store in a many, many different colors. So I love them. I love to use them on diamond paint and mostly I like to use them for the cross stitch to hold my needle. So they, they are cute and in many different colors. And I just let me get that. I don't like the sticky tape. This one I can pull out later. All right, so that's it. One uh, next one, this little organizer. A little organizer. First of all, I love the print in here. It's like a waterproof material. If you can get close. See, that's the kind of material. 
very nice zippers and I believe there's a uh, couple different design this one Lily I love flowers so I picked this one the flowers one and we have a two section in here let me open both of them very comfortable pouch for uh, on the go or even to keep it if you have let's just say you have a little um, like a good cross stitch kit maybe like a counted cross stitch kit that it's a big one and you want to keep some extra accessories like in here for example we have a pencil you can put in here your pencils or pen or maybe for markers you can use this pouch maybe for um, like a knitting hooks and different in here something too two places in here to put something maybe like a scissors even then little tiny pieces you can put in here let's see if the zipper actually work because it's flipped a little bit hold on okay cool we just have to flip in the right side let's see okay all right in here maybe like uh, extra needles to keep them safe or some special um need uh, needle threader or some even like a little magnets or something and yeah this one is good like for, for pencil marking pencil if you're working on a uh, let's say counted cross stitch and you have those water um, erasable pants or even like for the hooks and for knitting or crochet and then on this side as well same thing a little bit uh, bigger place in here so this this one in here more comfortable for markers or pen and they can kind of go all the way in here and then on this side we have extra zipper to put something special to hide in here so this is good um, not just like for crafty this is actually good uh, same thing like for kids for school for the pencil for erasers for markers and uh, school items if you uh, are beauty you can put in here makeup brushes some lipstick or chapstick in here some other like there's like a, so many possibilities to have this and i have a whole bunch of different uh, like a uh, hooks for crochet or knitting and i would love to organize them in here as well because i have some extras they're like an old one that i don't have any containers for so i think i might will use it or maybe i will put this to my one of the cross stitch kits so it's always kind of scissors and everything in here or I will get this one when I go camping in the summer I can put all tools in here because you know I do leave at the trailer some uh, cross stitch usually to stay there for the summer so when I craving for a stitch and I stitch up there and this is really really neatly done very nicely done I love the color and also you can choose different uh, design I believe this is Lily more like a Easter to me I think Lily represent Easter in here in Canada okay so I'm, I'm happy with this one I recommend it I would say it's good now one more this one I I think I know what it is <laughs> let me just open first just make sure that's what I'm thinking it is oh yes it is Whew. okay I've been looking for this one for years and before you would have to order like from Aliexpress and then you don't know if it's get it or not I never see this in my local store in here this is awesome for oh my god in my 20s I crochet and it so much and those uh, yarn would fly around on the floor now i can put my yarn in here of course you need to make um, a round ball from regular um, yarn the way you buy it at the store you have to rewind it into the ball to put in here then you wind your thread in here so it's kind of coming out little by little and the, your ball will be spinning in here not go on the floor or you can use this two holes in here and I have to say it's nicely done kind of I catching a little bit maybe uh, need a little bit more 
like it's smooth but uh, I feel like my skin catches a little bit uh, maybe polish I can put a layer of the glaze another one in here it's uh, not glaze on the inside but it's nice and smoothly done here I can show you very very close quality really nice I would say you see on the inside on the outside on the outside it's a little bit glazed but look how nice and here's the bottom I have to say it's really neatly I wish they was glazing more definitely I will be polishing a little bit more is it glaze oh no it is glaze in here just kind of hard to see it but I think it's really not necessary. It's a yarn ball will spin in here. It's still like it, I'm not going to cut my finger, but like it's not like a smooth as a table, you know. But I I believe they have like a few of different uh, shape. I think there's one more up there that has a little bit different design. If you can check it out. So what I'm thinking uh, when I go camp, which is camp and starts in May uh sometimes it's too hard to stitch on a very sunny day or like a rainy day maybe it's too dark in the trailer inside uh, but you don't need a magnifier light or you don't need the uh, glasses to knit or crochet and definitely this is something that like very very easy to do on outdoors chit chat to people listen to the birds and create something awesome so this is I love this one looks very very neat like it's very well done I would say okay awesome awesome cannot wait to actually try and see how that will work for me now now my friends we have this something that I never did before I never review hold on let me Oh, I cannot see it. Mm. Uh. Okay. This is something very interesting that I accidentally decided to check. Check it out to the different section of the store. And look what we have in here. Let me zoom out a little bit so we can see it better. Wow, neatly packed, I have to say, plus for that. Look at that. Cute, cute little hammer. Very cheap plastic, look, look. Like, it's a very cheap done, but hey, we'll do the job, I guess. It's uh, this little metal in here. Okay, that's cute. They even have a thing to remove your nails if you have to. Okay, so we have a tools, we have a tools in here, but let me show you first what we have in here. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Have a, a few different designs of this DIY wall, um, wall design. Okay, let's put the box away now. So here it is. I wanted to see what involved in the kit, how this look like. So maybe if you never knew they have this kind of cup. Uh, I see before lots of people were doing a different, uh, like by themselves, making a, just a regular board and put nails, whatever design they want to do to create kind of like a mandala. But this one, oh, they have already, oh, this is actually very nice. What kind of material is this? Like it's, look how nicely it's done on the back. Nice and clean. On the front, um, look at this. Um, okay, it's getting blurry. I have to show you. See the texture over flashing with the light we already have a holes I thought I will have to measure or some kind of maybe like a 
template on the paper but no I'm glad they actually already have design in here it's like a pinwheel and then we have to put nails in those holes and even show you in here how to create and we will have this beautiful design isn't that amazing there's a more than two designs I think there's lots of designs and I kind of this remind me of the flower so I picked this one it show you exactly what to do how to work with the nails and what to do with thread and um, that's the little hammer to put oh, wow I wanted to one day to stitch like this on a canvas to create different stitches I even pin a whole bunch of them on a Pinterest to learn so this is kind of like a same concept we will do with the threads and we will have such a beautiful design look at this oh my goodness I was really wondering like what kind of base this would be I didn't expect this to be like all frame and this frame are so smooth look at this one it's like it's so nice and glazy quality quality see how it's um, nice and sleek very nicely done wow i'm impressed actually i'm impressed now let's see what we need with this what kind of tools we have in here lots of nails we have in here let me bring you to me Okay. Okay. So this is. Uh, oh yeah, that that's to to attach, I believe, to make it like a stand for the table, because we have in here piece that you you can um, kind of you know like you screw in here or whatever, and then put whatever this one to put in here. So it's kind of like a. To, to create like a stand for the table okay we got this one uh, what next we have we have this snap scissors that asking to come in out it looks very fragile let me see if they are are they sharp uh huh looks very sharp okay uh, one clothespin kind of what do we need that clothespin for I don't know yet in here this one also if you want to hang on a wall instead of uh, to create this as a stand so this one go into the wall and then hook so this one is also like for different kind of framing we have in here and we have what is this this empty pan is this us to hold the um, for the nails to hold to hammer them I don't know it's very interesting um, I have to I have to read do we have in here hold on hold on hold on do we have in here pen what what's to do with pen uh, no I don't see anything about the pen I have to check uh, sometimes uh, I cannot remember right now but usually on a website uh, when you click on a link you will have with this product like a pictures on the side of the um, actual picture side pictures so it could be up there showing what this pen about I wonder if maybe like to get the nails out if you or push the threads down no idea no idea yet but I will figure out and maybe one day we will create this stuff lots of lots of nice quality gold nails I hope they don't tarnish and stay yellow like that that's a lots of, look at that they looks really nice 
not sure how many hopefully it's fit to cover all those holes and some extras just if we need to and then threads what kind of threads it kind of remind me threads that I used to crochet with them in my childhood here is the one color and the thickness of the thread not sure what kind of size this is it's like a silky mm -hmm. so we have um, are they same? okay let's see on the camera uh, this is two of the same color or they yeah it, it looks like it's the same color and then we have a look and then we have Ukrainian flag <laughs> and then we have Ukrainian flag there very very interesting wow I want to try to do that I just have to figure out uh, what's this pen about um, no idea if this is like to put uh, nails in the to hold the nails to hammer uh, no I don't know idea or maybe this will help later to pull out nails or to push the threads down to the nails no idea my friends I have to figure out about this tool myself because this is uh, first time as I say I see this on a website and I really wanted to try and this art is always interesting to me I love and it's been this kind of craft um, for many years that you can create your own design and put any threads lots of people do beautiful pictures so we will see we will figure out how to do it I'm interested to do a DIY with you together what do you think can we figure out how to do it I think that's easy I just I don't know that one little piece what's for I think we can even live without that piece it's not big deal let me close so we don't lose anything and the hammer is very cute plus you don't even have to hammer it too hard I thought you literally have to like like break a hole by yourself but it's already all holes already in here you just need a slightly to put nails down wonderful okay this is super super exciting to me let me know what you think about it and we will be creating some wonderful stuff in here I'm going to put this back where it belongs so we don't lose it and we are already in 23 minutes so we will finish this video as it is just a tools and accessories next uh, video it will be gorgeous gorgeous diamond paintings that you don't want to miss it okay I thank you for watching and see you next time